All right, uh, here is just a very, very simple, basic, nothing fancy go-kart I've been working on. And you got uh, your frame, your wheels, you got your steering, you know, there's a, a zillion videos on how steering works on various designs of go-karts and stuff. But uh, My engine is just a standard 3.5 Horace Briggs and Stratton. Uh, these are very, very common on things like lawnmowers. And as you can actually see, I, I think this was on a lawnmower at one time. There is a, a crankshaft at the bottom, and then there's another adaptation to it, which gives us a horizontal shaft to work with. Um, so, uh, this po the point of this video is to show you my idea, or one way you can do it, where you don't actually need to have a clutch on it. You can actually have a friction drive uh, gas pedal. So, all I've done is I've taken just a regular hinge and I've attached another piece of metal to it which is uh, basically giving me my right angle there I have bolted it on I may well do it later who knows but then on that piece of metal I've attached a bolt which runs all the way through and then there's a PVC section to it which acts as a roller because I'm not all fancy I'm cheap and I don't you know buy pairing and stuff I couldn't really find anything that fit too well but this acts as a roller so this can actually spin while keeping tension on there and it won't uh, you know, wear down the belt or it won't cause anything to overheat or whatever. So in front of that hinge I've added this other angle here. I've just uh, used drywall screws to attach it and this has another hole in it where I can attach the cable or the rope or whatever I want from here to here and then as I loop it around this thing allows me to actually pull straight on it. That's the first uh, bend in it. That allows me to pull it straight so it's not all janky and it's easy to use. So as I pull on it, as we go up and down on it, you can see that this actually uh, gives uh, the belt tension. You can see it tightening up there. And uh, at, at right now where it's at, with uh, no tension on it, with this thing disengaged, uh, this engine can spin freely without the wheels moving very much. Um, it, you know, it it's right at the point where it wants to go, but it doesn't quite have enough uh, friction on there to go. And this thing will allow me to actually tighten it up enough where I can sit on it and go, sit on it and go. I'm gonna attach it to this uh, other pedal up there. There's, a, I don't know how well you can see this. It's not too bright here. There's another gas pedal here. Uh, the pedal on this side is just a, uh, runs back, and it's just a friction, friction brake right there, but, yeah, this, uh, this cost me absolutely nothing, it's just stuff I had laying around, I threw it together, um, and if this works, I'm gonna try it tomorrow, post another video of that, but this is one way that you don't have to go out and spend a bunch of money on a clutch and fancy pieces and parts and all that. You can just uh, throw things together and get up and go. Um, you can see right now there's no muffler. Here it is. I just removed it to get access so I could bolt all this stuff down or screw it down or whatever. But There it is. Just a standard 3.5 horse Briggs and Stratton. Nothing fancy, but I like it.